Emerald Eye or Path Guard? I don't know, guys. Do you want to give me a hand here? <laughs> they both seem bad. The enemy is at Maybe we just need the extra, like, cash right now from the industry buildings. I don't know how much that will actually change things though. Yeah, I think extra cash for sure. We'll get the Emerald Eye. Rakal Emerald Eye is now his name. <laughs> we'll get the Arcane Condu Conduit for Espella and Black I'll do. Heart. Cool. Lord of Nagara. Uh, Sulfanet's uh, almost at my encampment. Let's go get it. What? And I'm actually gonna probably disband him now. Just because it's costing me a lot of cash. Of Goodbye. Alright, that'll save us a few turns. Commandment available at the Iron Frost Glacier. As well improve the tax. And that just leaves Safri and the Chill Road with the Great Arena. The only two provinces that we own that aren't complete. Which, this one will still soon be complete, so that's fine. All of the public orders still going up in every province. Let's move on to the next turn. Nord Hammer says, so lesson learned that that skill sucks. Yeah, I'll never use that one again. I think the best one is is definitely just buffing like your own character. Ooh, Valen's back. Hello, Valen. How you doing? I'm gonna jump on water and sink my black arc again. <laughs> We're going to have to move away from Valen with the Black Arc for sure. Speed this up. Avenger says, I'm pretty sure if one of the gold buffs wasn't 5% industry buildings, but like 5% faction wide, it would be worth it. Yeah, for sure. Like if it also buffed city settlements, that'd be very, very cool. Um, but I think it only like affects all of like the artisan buildings and stuff. And where's uh, Sniffin actually going to go? Harganath. Okay, well, they're dead. That's fine. Let's uh, make sure that... Moksha goes and slaughters them. Take some more slaves. And... Do we still have... The Rite of Cain underway? I don't think we do. I think it's finished now, isn't it? The Sacrifice to Cain is finished now. So Moksha finished off stuff there. We'll finish off Ray Leader so we get the extra missile damage and melee defense for Shades, which is good. Shades are very strong under Moksha now. Noble right, and I guess, like, I, I kind of want to leave now. Like, I want to take Moksha and head south, maybe. Although I don't think we're going to get there in time to stop the last defenders anyway. Like nine turns? I don't think he's gonna get there in nine turns. It would take him forever. Sorry about this, it's like lagging. That's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five just to get to Tear and Arc, so no, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Hmm. We could maybe go and like take the Salvation Isles or something, but. Yeah, I'm a bit more concerned about the end of the game more than anything. 
Noble of Nagaroth. Where's Valen looking at going? I'm not sure. I admire your darkness. Such slaughter awaits. Might have Nalosi just jump on the water here. Hateful bidding. Speak. I am the witch king. Hmm. Merciless one. Favored of the witch. See, I don't know. I'm going to move around here with Malakith anyway. You will recruit him. The Dark Riders with shields. Just actually. Better than that, let's go Dark Riders with repeater crossbows. And then. Dreadlord, next turn we'll have Nelosi come into Lothurn. I am master of destruction. We'll swap around some units, make Malekith do his quest. Then we'll do the final battle. Gonna upgrade all these a lot. Nice. We will end the turn there. I think that's everything done. I'm actually just gonna manually save it just in case. Because the game's been playing up a bit on the end turns. Did I not move that army? Oh well. Benji says, I think black roads work well in northern so you don't have to rely on march stance. Maybe. Doesn't really matter at this point, honestly. Palin's just gonna carry on round to Port Elister, I think, because it's the only place that doesn't have walls. The Shrine of Assyrian doesn't either. Maybe he'll take that. Doesn't matter. Right, so we'll skip the rest now that we've seen what Lothan's done. Speak. Let's get rid of that. Doubly. What a pleasure to do your thing. We'll rebuild the Great Arena this turn. It can be like the first I thing I do. Surrounded by weaklings. Cool. Vicious dreadlord. Right, Rakal Emerald Eye can, can you take that for me. Nice. And uh, we will have him then move up to Dagrex End again. At least they're cheap to rebuild. <laughs> With the Shrine of Syrian. Let's go for the artisan's house there. Hateful bidding. Hello, C. Mooring. Into here. We'll have a chat a with Malekith. Spreading misery. And then Malekith can do his quest. Okay, so we want these units in Malekith's army. And I think that'll be good enough, honestly. Yeah, nothing else. Don't think we don't need the mage because she's already good. We'll work off like the shades, like dragon and that. Could do with some cavalry, I guess, but yeah, it's fine. We'll have the dra dragons go kill like artillery if we need to. 
Let's uh, do this quest. The destroyer quest. They are no kin of mine. Malzan built is a volcano within which lies the shrine of the Elven Smith God. It is the most sacred of sites, and now the Witch King has it in his sights. With destroyer in hand, he marches relentlessly upon Ulthwan's shores to the tip of the Dragon Spine Peninsula and into the volcano itself. As expected, the High Elf Guardians are waiting within. Three units of Phoenix Guard. They do have armoured, armour piercing, anti large. They don't have the defence that I thought they had. They have physical resistance. They don't have the flame resistance, though. Unless I'm missing it. Hmm. That's why I can still do a lot of damage against them with the black dragons and stuff. Let's go ahead and teleport. It's going to be pretty simple by the looks of things. Plenty of reinforcements coming in. Wow. Let's quick save. Fight and me. we'll fight it on the battle map. Let's go. Wow, well, this is led by Tyrion, apparently. It's going to be Tyrion in this quest battle. And Teclis will be arriving as well. Our vanguard is taking the brunt of the damage, apparently. Go ahead and start the battle. Fools! Herds of Asher clog the path to Thor's petty shrine. Sweep them aside, my kin. Let the king approach the god and have the god kneel. Send forth the vanguard. Have them prepare my way. Thor will deign to bless my sword. He will marvel at my creation. Or I will destroy all of his. Blimey. Defeat the High Elves led by Tyrion. Alright, let's go. Let's just get the guard to move up. Actually, I may as well have the Harganeth Executioners join them. All my infantry and missile units can move up. We'll have the Hydras on the flanks so that they can fire their fire into the enemy. And hopefully that'll be good enough. Cool. Teclis is skulking about somewhere. Crush this weak lordling army before he chooses to show himself. <laughs> Avenger says, how the fuck did Teclis teleport in so quickly? I thought he was in the bumfuck of nowhere. <laughs> That's very true. He's supposed to be on the other side of the continent. <laughs> or not even this continent, but another continent entirely. It's nice for them to sort of sponge the damage for us, these bleak swords. Oh, look at them. Very nice shields. It's like colouring on those are very cool. Here come the dragons, anyway. Uh, we will burn the Phoenix Guard. Oh, wow. That is a vortex of some sort. Oh, Phoenix Guard getting decimated. Love it. Okay, and uh, I guess we'll go for a double blade wind here. Hear my words. Let's get some flame breath into the silver helms. 
A black guard, so blimmin slow. Come down into those silver helms there. Oh, we're definitely dispatching of these guys very quickly. Try and kill off some of these archers with light armor here. Oh my. Those guys got wrecked. I like it. So the Lord Ding Teclas has arrived. Destroy his army too. Sure, we'll do. Dragon Princes. Let's melt those. There's Malekith. Nice, that initial army is getting decimated. Probably turn and face Teclas over here. Uh, let's have these two Black Guard and Agaron just turn around. And we'll face some of these shades and stuff in their direction. This has been pretty simple, hasn't it? <laughs> Nordhammer says this is a quest that could have been done a tad earlier. At this point, it's just overkill. Yeah, that's for sure. These, these are archers. Poor guys. So those are mostly Swordmasters of Hoeth, actually. Um, get the Arganeth Executioners to move over there as well. Well, oh, a lot of horsemen. Let's just get into those cavalry there, which are running down my shades. Murderous prowess is nearly upon us. Malekith. Hear my words. Black well, my black guard getting wrecked there, but the Harganeth execution is becoming very strong at this point. They will m absolutely annihilate these vermin. Harganeth executioners are insane. Right, Living Reaver's dead there. Good stuff indeed. Thankfully my shades are pretty damn good. Have that, that black dragon come back. Really, I probably want a doom bolt. I want to like double doom bolt if I can. Let's just suck our allies dry in order to give us more winds of magic. How much do I need in order to double that up? I don't even know. But still, we have our breath we can use anyway. And uh, this Hydra can also use its breath. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't even use his breath in the end. Let's just come over the end. Um, is there a breath here? Yes, there is. Breath into that from the Hydra and the Black Dragon. Ooh, one of our Black Guard of Nagarond is very dead right now. Oh my god, do you see how much damage that did? That was insane. Oh wow. Just come down into the Lord and Sea Guard there, finish those off. And uh, there is Teclas, let's just go get Malekith to go wreck him. Oh, 
Ooh, ouch. Malika taking a big chunk in there. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Turklis. How are you doing? <laughs> I want to just kill him. I want to make sure he's dead. Kill him. Go on. Kill him. Eat him. Eat him. Kill him for good. Stop toying with your food, Malekith. Come again. Get him. Really? Really, Malekith? What are you doing? We do have Soul Sealer, don't we? Let's use that. got away. Sad times. That was an absolute bloodbath, you're right, uh, Nordhammer. Malekith got 370 kills. Very, very nice. <laughs> Black Dragon's getting 187 kills there. I think they leveled up a bit as well. That's good. The Harganth Executioners, once they got uh, Murderous Prowess, absolutely like annihilated Tagless's army. Tyrion got 242 kills though, that's pretty impressive. Look on me and Enslave I guess we take the slaves from that. And that's the quest successful. Destroyer is now equipped by Malekith. Good stuff. Tax cause discouraged effect, producing leadership. That's nice. Ruin unrestrained. Extra winds of magic power reserve for the Lord's army. We defeated Teclas. Alright, if we get Nelosi to run round. Because I think I'm just going to have the same army for the final battle with Malekith. Power and the Losi awaits. can try and stop Valen, maybe. If he starts to siege one of these settlements, I think she, her army will be decent enough to, to beat him, he's although he's got multiple Phoenix Guards, Sword Masters, loads of Phoenixes. Maybe not. <laughs> his army's pretty legit. But either way, Malekith will be ready to go, I think, by the time the last battle occurs. I really like these Harganeth Executioners. I kind of wish I, wish I had a bit, like a few more of them. Very, very nice indeed. Good weapon strength. Like, decent attack and defense. They get really, really crazy buffed on the Murderous Mastery there. Really nice. Tyrant of right, Admiral Tuen here. Going to be continuing with its hand bows like so. Moment available in that the chill road, which is going to be enforce tribute payments. And might as well just upgrade that and move on to the next turn. Oh, did I not do. Yeah, I did do it. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. I was thinking I hadn't done the arena and taken the arena back but apparently I had so yeah it's fine yeah Valen is going to come back and attack the low sea a little bit worried about this battle actually like, I kind of wanted it to happen but now I don't <laughs> they don't have too many archers no. falling back we don't have to, so why not? Like, what? why would we if we don't have to? It's, it's pointless. We can just keep, like, baiting him in the next couple turns and just keep retreating. So he doesn't go and attack another settlement. It gives the Shrine of Assyrian time to build walls, and same with poor Telester. And then if he starts sieging one, then we can send the low seed to go deal with him.
Alright, let's uh, skip the rest. Well, that happened. The thief snatchers decided to declare war on us. I don't think there's any much point in doing that, so we're just going to auto resolve it. I'm just going to sack it. I'm only going to do the same to Iron Frost. Iron Frost is a bit different though, because we actually have some troops, so we're going to quick save it and fight it on the battle map. Oh, this is a terrible map again. I guess if we play it the way we did the other time, like, and actually manage to take out the, like, Rock Lobber, we should be okay. But we don't have Dark Conduit anymore, so it's going to be hard. But at least if we're charging downhill. Yeah. At least if we're charging downhill, they won't get the charge bonus on the boars. Apparently it's pretty even. I guess Orc Boys aren't that good, are they? So one thing that might help my cause. It's this uh, Goblin Rock Lover that I'm worried about. So those are Night Goblin Archers. That's fine. Can run those down. We're going to get into the back of the Goblin Rock Lovers, that's good. I'm not sure if we're going to get the kills though, that's the trouble. Taking on the Night Goblin Archers there, which is good. We're running away from this engagement, which is fine. Courses. Slash kill. Dark shards. Cold blooded killers. Courses. All oh, those units like on top of each other, it's really bad. What's my cavalry doing? We need to make sure that we actually get away from those orc boys and come back in and finish the job on the uh, Coblin Rock Lobber there. Are we in the back of them yet? <clears throat> we are killing them off. Okay, we made them route. That's good. Alright, now we need to charge downhill into the Orc boys. Make sure we get the engagement we want. Terror and death. 
True destruction. Carnage awaits. Dark shot. Battle ready. Cold blooded killers. Dark shots. No mercy. Let's just charge down into these orc boys. These ones need to come back and attack those orc boys. Nice. I'm not doing too bad. Let's get my death hag in here. She needs to do as much damage as she can. Target the night goblins. I'm actually doing quite a lot of damage with our archers here. Dark shots. Battle ready. Dealers in death. Battle no dark shots. My bloodlust is waning. Oh, that's not good. Honk boy is coming back. We are ready. On that side there. I right, broke the front line a bit. It's yes. good. Let's get the death hag to focus their leader, the night goblin war boss. If we can kill him, that will definitely help us out. I feel like that's a chain route. Our leadership's just too good once we get Mandra's prowess. Especially against green skins. The enemy lord's dead as well. Nice. Not bad. There's still one unit in there. The uh, orc boys there. Make sure we charge those. Are they all gone yet? <laughs> they seem to all just be like coming back. I don't know. Don't want to break apparently. Just get back into our position then. Again, this time for good. Nice. Good stuff. Great victory. Job done. Dano says, I leave to go play games and you're still here? The raw determination. Yes, I am finishing this game today, this campaign. I really want to. No matter how long it takes, we're going to do it. Right, so we didn't lose a settlement to them, which is good. They united against us, apparently. Not very fun. Uh, Rakal Emerald Eye can move up towards Harkaldra. Hopefully get some replenishment. Better replenishment. Never mind. No idea why the replenishment's so bad. Maybe it's because we're in the region of Harkaldra and it doesn't give us much. Of the witch king. Uh, let's move uh, Nelosi back up here. Not too close. Don't we'll just move, move her like there. That's fine. Damage building. Over at send. Twenty turns until we can do the right of Cain. It's a shame we don't have it for the last battle. That would be really nice. Malakis army is pretty legit though.
Very nice indeed. If we actually go to Malekith, pretty sure we got the Armour of Midnight, didn't we? Only available for this character. Like, is it better than what we have? Like, he currently has regeneration, which is actually really nice. And ward saves probably better than just physical resistance. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, let's just keep Moksha and Nagaron just in case something happens there. And it's going to be the last turn. I'm pretty sure this is it. Let's do it. See what Northern does. Probably going to try and attack Nelosi again. Just speed it up. We'll just retreat if that's what happens. There we go. Took the bait. That's exactly what we wanted to do. And at the end of this turn, we should have like the final battle and we should get the campaign victory. That's what I'm looking for. Just ignoring what everyone else is doing. I just want to get there now. Just want it to be the end. <laughs> Not that I'm bored with the campaign, but we've certainly worked hard for it, and it would just be so nice to like finish off the campaign today. 